Welcome to release question 165 for Cassie Math. It says the temperature on a mountain peak was 7 degrees Fahrenheit, Whew, chilly, at 6 p.m. By 8 p.m., the temperature had dropped, oh my gosh, to 0 degrees Fahrenheit. That is darn cold right there. If the temperature continued to drop at about the same rate, which is the best estimate of the temperature at 11 p.m.? So basically we need to figure out how many degrees it's dropping each hour and then keep it going at that same rate. So from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m., that's two hours. And from 7 degrees to 0 degrees, that's a drop or a negative temperature. That's a drop of 7 degrees Fahrenheit. So think of that as negative 7 degrees. So you're dropping 7 degrees like that. So from 8 to 11 p.m., that's going to be three more hours. But if we take these two things and put them together, let's think of these two things together. This would be a drop of two hours. I'm sorry, I want to put degrees on top. So negative seven degrees Fahrenheit over two hours. You have this drop of, if we divide negative seven by two, that's negative 3.5 degrees Fahrenheit. It's dropping that much each hour. So going down negative 3.7 or 3.5. We've got three more hours. So from here to here, we're going to be starting at zero. That's where we're at at 8 p.m., dropping three times negative 3.5. So we can say that we have three times negative 3.5 is going to equal, if we do negative three times three, that's negative nine, and then three times 0.5 more, that would be 1.5. So that put together would be negative 10.5 degrees. That much of a drop from 8 o'clock, from 8 p.m. to 11 p.m. That means since you started at 0 degrees, we're taking 0, we're subtracting 10.5 from that and we get negative 10.5. If this wasn't 0, we'd have something else instead of just the same number, but it is zero, so we have negative 10.5 degrees Fahrenheit at 11 p.m. And with our answer choices, looking at that, it's definitely not gonna be negative 20, negative 14, a little too high there. This would be your actual temperature. And so if it was negative 9.5, I would say this is a bad question because it's not real close to, to either one. I guess we could round up to negative 10, but it's negative 10.5. Clearly of our answer choices, this is closest to negative 10 degrees. And so our answer for this one would be choice, choice C. I meant to circle this part right here. That's not our final answer. My bad. So I will circle that one instead. If you're in my Cassie math class, let's do that instead. Okay, so that is closest. This is our final answer, negative 10 degrees Fahrenheit. Choice C for 165.